again everyone, Michael with Terrafuse. In today's video we're going to show you insulation tips and techniques for installing the TF structural as a thin overlay as you're seeing here. This type of use is uh, very common when you have concrete substrates experiencing spalling or rain damage or graffiti or anything that's going to have surface imperfections in need of repair. Uh, the TF structural is an excellent product for this. You can trowel it out at about a quarter of an inch and bring the substrate essentially to a new condition. We've made a full bag of the TF Structural for this uh, mix that you're seeing here. At a ratio of about three and a half liters of the part B to uh, one full bag of the Structural. Now you definitely don't have to mix up the Structural in full bags. You could see that we spread this out all along the, the two edges as well as the top edge. And then I'm gonna start installing it bringing the excess product back towards myself and depending on site conditions meaning uh, hot windy dry conditions are gonna cause the TF structural to cure a little bit faster so that uh, you can make smaller mixes you can easily mix up about a quarter bag or a half bag at a time spread it out in a similar manner that you've seen here and just bring more frequent continuous mixes to yourself as you go so now that I've done the three edges, um, the expansion joints, just going over it one more time to make sure I have a good consistent depth to the install. And then I'm going to go back and forth with the trowel, just bringing the excess material back towards myself. So the big thing to focus on when you are troweling out a, a wet or skim mix is keeping more pressure on the front edge of your trowel. So as you can see there, the excess material is working its way back towards yourself. And you just keep going in this fashion to bring the excess product from the front of the pad to the back. I'll do an initial spread as you're seeing to get the bulk of the material back. And you wanna make sure you don't get yourself too far away so that you are able to reach up and do a final finish on the stuff that you initially trialed out. Now you don't have to make that final finish perfect by any means. Uh, you're gonna have some trowel lines and inconsistencies, but when you put the finishing broom onto those, they're gonna disappear uh, quite quickly and you'll find you really don't have to spend a lot of time with the trowel. So as you saw, I, I troweled it out once to get the initial bulk moved back and then just went over it one more time and that's how I'm gonna leave it till I can put the broom on it, as you'll see coming up here. Now when you're brooming it, you want that broom at a very shallow angle. Um, unlike when you finish broom concrete, the bristles tend to stick at a more of a 90 degree angle, but here you want those bristles almost parallel with the substrate so that it's just dragging along, putting in the broom lines and not essentially sweeping off any of the excess material from the pad. And then I'm going to just continue in this fashion all the way down the pad to the bottom until it's uh, totally installed and it's essentially a finish as you go process. You pour out the product, trowel it out, apply your broom lines and then what I'm doing here is putting in a, that picture frame edge that you will typically see in new concrete installations and I do have another short video that will show this technique in more detail. So I'd like to jump to another installation to show you the next part of the process with any skim coat. Once you trowel out and apply that first mix that you've made and you've applied your broom finish to it. You bring your next mix and pour it right into the wet edge of the existing mix you just troweled out. And then you're gonna focus on troweling the new product into the old. Again, you can see the pressure is being applied to the upper part of the trowel, the trowel that's furthest away from your body. And you have a little less pressure on the back part and that's gonna allow that excess material to escape and work its way down the pad towards yourself. And again, you just keep working in this motion back and forth, moving the extra material towards yourself. And this is where you're gonna get a comfort level as far as how much product you wanna mix at one time. If you're comfortable mixing out a full bag and troweling that volume of product, by all means do so. If you need less uh, because you wanna spend more time working with it, then you can mix up less at a time. As you're seeing in this installation, 
That was a full bag of structural trialed out in just under one minute. Um, it's down in a parkade and what we're doing here for the edges is there's no actual expansion joints so you can lay down a, a layer of duct tape and trial right on top of that and as the product starts to set up you can peel that tape right off leaving you a nice straight clean edge that essentially mimics almost a saw cut it looks as though you cut out a section of concrete and put in a new new section of it you can see as well the brooming here is is going the opposite direction we're brooming in the same same way that we're traveling down the pads so you just want to be very gentle when you put the broom down and pull it but you can go in either direction as you apply these broom lines so there you can see one full bag of TF structural was mixed poured out troweled and broomed in approximately a five minute window and then you just repeat the process the mix is being made while you're putting those broom lines in you pour it directly into the wet edge of the existing mix start traveling along that duct tape edge and then press the new product into the old product and continue. Uh, what I do want to show you an example of here is an SSD condition, so where you have a saturated surface dry. Sometimes you get very absorbent concrete, it's a hot day, windy, um, you're going to get a lot of moisture pulled out of the TF structural, so it is encouraged to pre-wet the surface with water and you put it in a spray container like you saw there and just spray it so you don't have any standing water on the surface but the pad is fairly saturated and I do have a separate video on this process. And the last thing I'm going to show you here is just a couple of different techniques to do with the trowel uh, when you're going across the pad. One is to do like I just did there and flip the trowel using the same hand. Uh, go back and forth in that manner. Uh, another option is to bring the material across, switch hands and then trowel back the other direction. Another uh, good technique is to come across with one trowel and in the opposite hand you have another trowel and bring the material back. But that's something as you get to using more of the structural you're going to come up with your own methods that you tend to like the best. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments uh, please leave them below or better yet contact us directly uh, from the contact information you can find in the description. And please continue to watch the other videos for more information on TF Structural and our other products. Thank you.